And then we looked at how to log requests and response from the models. And you can do that by enabling the AI logging module. And then once installed, just go to configuration AI login and make sure you automatically log requests and responses, make sure both are enabled and then go ahead and make a few requests. And then you will see all of these responses. And it is pretty fascinating when you take a look at them. So if we take a look at this one, you can actually see the whole prompt. And this is a great way to check that context is actually getting passed because sometimes your token or your actual variable may not be processed. And then AI does a great job at acting like it knows what it's talking about. But then once you pay extra attention, you're like, wait a minute, this isn't right. So this is a great way to actually see if these tokens are getting passed across. And here you can see in, in this example that the tokens weren't getting passed across. So something broke there essentially. And then if you scroll down, you can see the most important one for me, especially, is total tokens. How many, how many tokens were used? So if you want to learn all about this, then check out our latest live stream, which is all about using AI automators in Drupal CMS. And as usual, I have added in the chapter markers so you can jump to specific sections. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And if you have some type of specific workflow, which would be fun for a live stream, let me know because, because now I'm trying to come up with ideas for future live streams where we just do a specific thing where it's kind of like, okay, let's build out this feature using AI and then just go through the process of actually building it out. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment.